everybody we're back um today we're gonna do everything about oreos that we can think of it's memorial day weekend we want to do some extra desserts for everybody um and i thought well why not use oreos so our first thing that we're going to do is called oreo balls and each ball will have a caramel kiss in the middle and what you need is a sleeve or the whole thing of Oreos, eight ounces of cream cheese, a fourth of a cup of powdered sugar, and some good old almond bark. So to get us started, we're gonna put all of the cookies in here, the cream cheese and the um, powdered sugar, and we're gonna mix it all up real good, put it into a, a bowl and put it in the refrigerator so that it can cool. Um, got the whole package of Oreo cookies in the food processor already. My husband's going to do this because our little food processor is uh, getting picky and I can't hold it down hard enough, so my husband has to do it now. So anyway, here we go. He's going to go ahead and mix these till they're like really fine, found, fine, finely ground. Oh, that's good. Okay, next. He's going to add the cream cheese. He's a virgin. There we go. And then the quarter cup of powdered sugar. There we go. Let me put this on. I can do this and... He can't. There you go. Now it's going to mix all this together. Then what we'll do is we will take the blade out, wipe it off, and put the whole thing in the refrigerator until it is completely cool. Okay, um, we let all this sit in the, um, you know, before I rolled it into balls, in the refrigerator kind of meld the flavors together for about three hours pull them out and this is my last one I'll show you how to do it I just flatten it like a pizza like that I lay it gently right here then I take one of these caramel kisses Pull it out. Uh oh. Get over there. Alright. Put that in the middle. And then I kind of fold the cookie dough around it like that. It's going to be just a little excess right there, which is okay. Roll it up in a little ball. Now we're going to freeze them until they are rock hard solid for about two hours. This is the last part of our Oreo balls that we're doing. They're nice and frozen. I've got my almond bark melted. Now all I've got to do, drop it down in there, cover it, pick it up, knock the excess off, and put it right back where it was. Just like that. And they're done. And best way to serve them, keep them in the refrigerator because they do have the cream cheese in them. But the best way to serve them is take them right out, right before you get ready to serve them. Let them get room temperature. Of course, if there's none eaten, you know, some of them aren't eaten, put them right back in the refrigerator. And they'll last for weeks. <laughs> we're fixing to make our Oreo pistachio lasagna start off with crushed Oreos 
a whole bag full of them. And then we're going to add a stick of butter. Pat it all down. Then we'll come back and put uh, your uh, semi sweet chocolate morsels. We're going to do the pistachio pudding, we're, uh, but we're doing it for pie, which calls for two and three fourths cups of milk. Then, after you get that layer on, you put your pistachios down, you put your whipped topping on top. Done. It is the simplest recipe in the world and it tastes phenomenal. Get a little bit of salty, a little bit of sweet. It's all good. So let's get started. Okay, we got our butter melted. So let's go ahead and pour it in here on these crushed Oreos. We'll get our crust going. Try to get as much of it out of there as we can. We don't like to waste around here. Okay. Incorporate that butter all through your cookie crumbs. so many different things that you can do with Oreos. They're very versatile. Okay, that's mixed up pretty good. Now we're going to pat it down with our hand, make it even. All right, now that looks pretty good right there. Next, we are going to sprinkle on a whole cup of semi-sweet chocolate chip morsels. There we go. Move those around, coat it nice and evenly. There we go. Now, while we get our pudding ready, we're going to stick this in the freezer. Let it sit in there about 10, 15 good minutes. Okay, well, we're fixing to make our pudding now. We're going to do the pie recipe, though, which only calls for two and three-fourths cups of, sh of uh, milk. It'll make it thicker. I love pistachios and they're very good for you. Festive. And these are really good like summer treats after dinner too. Not too filling, not too rich. We'll get this mixed up really good. Make sure it's all stirred up and incorporated in that milk. And then 
then we'll stick this in the refrigerator for about another 10 minutes. And right about the time that the crust is done, the pudding will be done. And we can throw it all together. All right, we got it out of the freezer, nice and set. So, let me just take it and we just start putting it around. The stuff is so delicious. <coughs> Perfect for St. Patty's Day, too. Nobody asked you, kitty. Nobody asked the kitty. And see, I'm a pistachio freak. I love it. Okay, which my whole family loves nuts, period. We are nuts. Okay. And it's really not a big thick layer like you would think. You don't need a big thick layer because the flavor is is there. It's very pronounced. Okay, now. Delicious, nutritious. That's my hand off. Okay. Now, for the nuts. These are already unshelled pistachios. Uh oh, drop one. Kitty will like it. You don't have to use the whole bag, a few will do because they are packed full of flavor. That looks like enough to me. That's probably half of a good bag. Now, our whipped topping. It's a very messy dessert. It doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. All right, we're back. Same scenario as the last dessert. A whole packet of Oreos. I think it is, if I'm not mistaken, 15 ounces. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna 
reserve again a half a cup. I'll set this over to the side. Pour our butter in. this all up together. You talk about quick, easy, and inexpensive, but delicious. Recipes like this are no fail. Even if you did mess it up, who would know? Okay. Now, press this all down. Ten minutes in the refrigerator. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. Now, what we've got to do is we've got French vanilla pudding. But, don't go by the directions. Go by my directions. Okay. Now, that's one package. Now, my directions call for three and a half cups of milk. There we go. whole ounces of, and like I said, I went with the light this time, Cool Whip. mix the Cool Whip and the pudding first and then I'm going to add my cream cheese.
eight ounces of cream cheese, softened. Cream cheese is our friend. Alrighty. Makes everything better. Away. You're not going to get all of the lumps out, so there's no sense in working yourself to death trying to. So, it's a very imperfect dessert, but it's delicious. Alright. Now, next part is with our Oreo Delight. You just pour it all over this like that. And there was a little bit of the Jello. I'll smash it out real good. Let's taste this. Phenomenal. Okay. Now. Just like the last dessert, just sprinkle it. Add a little pizzazz to it.
this will be a lot creamier than the um, Oreo pistachio lasagna. So you'll have to dip it out with a spoon. But there we go. There's three desserts that you can make very quickly with Oreos for any occasion. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you soon.